life, life, the life, all game, all star. Do you have what it takes to make the call? The life. Scared you, huh? So I can give me my pants, man. I don't go there, but I don't play games like that, man. The life, it all comes down to this. Play to win every time and you're on top of the list. The life, life, life. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Everybody knows he got handles. But wait till you see him lead a fast break off the court. Baron Davis, this week on The Light. Here's something. Oh, here's something. Oh, oh, oh. Only my life is wild like this. It only gets crazier. It only gets crazier. The Light. Fight, 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 fight. So you think it's really me singing, but it's not. I fooled you. Vegas, slot machines, showgirls, the haven for hyped up dreams. And the off season home of 23 year old New Orleans Hornet, Baron Davis. BD gave the life a chance to keep up with this All-Stars running gun game off and on the court. Vegas is a cool city. You know, I'm trying to, trying to get a lot of my family to move out here. I like Vegas, man. It's, it's sweet, it's unique. So well put together, flawless as can be. Originally, I'm from South Central Los Angeles. And I mean, it's nothing but a 45 minute flight or a three hour drive. So it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. I do it. I can do it every day if I had to. I, I, you know, just living out here, I'd probably go to LA probably like two or three times a week just to see my grandmother and hang out with her or, you know, to play in summer league games or just to kick it. I'm the best lip singer in the world. In the summertime, anywhere I go, I always take, you know, a couple of the homies with me and let them get that experience just to get out the city. <clears throat> just to get out the hood so they experience different stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, that, so they inspire them to want to do more, to want to wanna think positive and be positive. Excuse me, miss. I get some orange juice and another water, please? Thank you. Since I got money now, you know, people expect me to hang around sophisticated people all the time. No, the people that I cling to are the people that's just like me. They just, <laughs> we just ignorant. We just, we just ignorant. We don't care about nothing. We don't care about nothing, but we have a good time and we don't violate nobody. We don't disrespect people. We just have fun and I'm never going to change. I don't care how much money I got. Is that some oatmeal on your pancakes? Okay. We've been coming out here, man, forever. One of my AAU coaches left me in Barstow. I was like, what, 10, 11 years old? I came outside, I looked in the parking lot. Like, damn, I don't see nothing in the vans. Go back here, I went to the other side. Like, mm, damn, I don't see no vans over here. Go out the front. Look at the gas station. I said, oh. <laughs> I'm myself all the time, man. And, and when I'm around them, I just know that, you know, I can act a certain way and just not care, not care what nobody say, because, you know, that's just how we are. That, they just bring out, they bring out that goofy side in me, that side that just want to laugh all the time. We're in New Orleans. I promise to God this dude is walking around like this. <laughs> Pull your shorts down, man. What are you doing? Pull your shorts down. Pull them on your waist. Here you go. This how I wear them. I'm in the NBA now. I'm, I'm living out my dream. I got a little money or whatever. But it's still, I'm the same dude from back in the day. And, and that's because of the people that surround me. You know, I surround myself with people that don't, don't care about none of that. You know, when we together, we just chill. Thank you, thank you. Hey, y'all got a CD player in there? What? 
What? Come on, come on. Watch the world spin. Trying to have money like Steve Wynn and build a casino. I take over my hood just like me, though. Brown. When I get down, close possessing my thought pattern. Don't even know because I'm often spraying the verbal AK spray. When I play Bell at UCLA, you can't. Stop the flow, better yet you can't Clock my dough or stop my show Got booze paying 30 a ticket To watch me floss in Madison Square I don't give a I don't care We loud, we loud, we might be obnoxious and rude Whatever you say, but as long as we having fun with each other it don't, I don't care what nobody say I don't care what nobody say Because people see our happiness and our love for each other And they get jealous Junk y'all fool I don't even care cause y'all lunchtime fool You eat like dinner Nigga your ball head I'm a winner Put me in the game and I finish Ain't no limit It ain't no gimmicks to my flows Young BD Got the block full of hoes Got the block full of dough Got the hood Whole hood sitting on chrome Everybody does their own thing and, and I respect what they do Just as much as they respect what I do You know I've achieved a certain level of success, but I want more. You know, there's always more, and I'm gonna work hard to get what I wanna get. One, two, three, four, five, 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 hold, hold. Get this karate move here. So you can get on the ball. Two, land. I think what I'm doing here is trying to stretch his lower back and his hips really well. These guys play, you know, 82 games and seven, eight preseason games and postseason. And Barron played the whole year round. He played a lot of summer. Towards the end of the season, start breaking down a little bit. Go to one. Hold, hold. And spell. Bam. Okay, uh, start moving again. Number three. Almost there. Eight, seven, square. Boom. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. And I'm trying to take this running back body and turn it into a lean, sleek point. During the season, my body sometimes just shut down. That's how I get injured, but I still just play through it. So in the summertime, I'll be like, man, I'll be hurting. Get higher with the leg. Back to the middle. Uh, yeah. right, Try to make a straight line. That's what it's all about, OK? I don't want you wobbling left to right. Control that movement. Almost there. And uh, right, we go. Good. Key in. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. You know, I experienced a little bit of success this season. And now I think it's time for me to, to start doing those things, like getting a personal trainer, getting a shooting coach, you know, a nutritionist, all these different things to help build me as a player and help build my foundation. Go, go, go free. And since I've done it, I think it's really the most important thing that I've done this summer is really put myself in a position to get in better shape, to eat better, and, and just feel like a new person, and I already do. When I finish, I need the summer, I have my six pack, I'm just gonna, Never gonna wear a shirt. I'm just gonna wear just a neck, just a, just a collar. I'm just gonna cut all my shirts off and wear just a neck. The bunions just killing me. They're burning. They burn. They're burning. The bunions is burning. D, I gotta get this flight, man. I'll be back probably in the morning sometime. We're gonna drive. We're gonna take a road trip, man. Come with the whole crew. Buckle up, baby. We're bouncing back home to South Central with BD. South Central Los Angeles. A tough place to grow up. Even tougher to escape. No matter where the hardwood takes him, this is the place Baron Davis calls home. LA is me, man. South Central Los Angeles. 85th Street, the street I grew up on. Every opportunity I get, you know, I let them know that, you know, there's positive things that can come out in my neighborhood. And, and that in, in, inspires a lot of younger kids to saying, like, hey, man, I grew up just like Baron Davis. Maybe I can make it too. How you feel with me? <laughs> who, ta who told you I was coming? Uh -huh. Ain't enough words in, in my mind and in this world, you know, that, that can describe my love for my grandmother. She's like, she she's me, basically. Like I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm just like her. I'm just like her, and and if it wasn't for her and my grandfather, I mean, it'd be it's no it'd be no way, no way I'd be, you know, sitting here talking to y'all, having y'all follow me around. It'd be no way. She's very proud, very proud. Uh -huh. 
The devil give me no trouble. I had to go to the playground and get him, though. <laughs> he done grown now, though. He done grown until big boy died. He used to be little when he wanted to play ball. <laughs> That's a picture of my grandfather right here. He passed away when I was in eighth grade. Nah, nah. How old is Papa in this picture? He in his early, I don't know, in his like early forties, I guess. You could take basketball, you can take everything away. As long as I got my grandmother, I'm fine. As long as me and her, we straight. That's all that matters to me in this world is my grandmother. She used to wake me up at 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. She used to just pull all the curtains, open up the house, it'd be bright. Come here, Courtney. <laughs> this is my favorite niece. She's shy. That's Terminator. We was talking about him earlier. Yeah! <laughs> Awesome, man. From the fifth floor, from the fourth floor. 300. When you see something like this and the black man say, hey, I got this for $3, that means 300. Don't just say $3. Come here, Tyler. Jackie, you getting ready for the carrots, too? Yeah, I'm going to a birthday party tonight. Ah, uh, that's my sister. We got the sexy pictures. Look at the sexy pictures. They scared of the camera. Why do they call you the Terminator? This is a childhood court name, that's all. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be back. That's how quick I was. No, <laughs> oh, man, this, you know, this is my, this my uh, 94 Brizzo Museum. Fleet Wizzle. Hey, roll with me. So me and the homies, we'd be rolling around the city, man. I'm going to show y'all how to hop it. Y'all ain't had nobody hop it. Let the cameraman sit in the back. When I first got to the league, I always wanted to give me a low ride. My teammate Stacy Ogman got one. He was telling me I needed one of these. I got a six tray and he was telling me this was a better car, just a low ride as far as just driving around the city. So, you know, I, I got in and, you know, I rode in and I just fell in love because it floats. It still got that Cadillac drive and everybody in my hood still be riding. So now it's like, you know, the more I get, the more people we can go ride with. But it's fun, man. It's, that's the whole thing. I mean, you know, you sitting in the back seat. I hit the switch. You, I got, I got y'all bouncing. It's in my blood, man. That's just all I've been around. It's a hood thing, man. That's all it is. Especially in LA, more people recognize me, even older people. This is what life is about: having fun, hanging with your peoples, enjoying things with your friends. Yeah, you like that. Next hill I hit, I'm hitting the switch. We gonna fly. What's up, homie? What's up with you? You got the key at Squizzle here? I'm on P Squared team. What's up, man? What's up, dog? You don't know your boy no more. So what's up, man? Yeah, man, you know. How you doing? <laughs> What's up with you, baby? Yeah, that's being the life. The life. That's my man Nate. What's up, man? One of the founders of the real run. Man, man. Yeah, I'm gonna duck on you tonight. Yeah, I'm a duck on you. Stop, Barry. 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 Time passes, man. It's my life, though. It ain't really like this, but I'm a low-key cat. Y'all made it problems for me. Y'all made it problems. Hey, Nate, get the mic. Barry. Hey, stay up the mic, bro. Basketball is definitely a profession, but for me, if if I wasn't in the NBA. I'll be somewhere at a park or at a YMCA every day, you know, playing because I love playing the game. The way I play on the court really resembles my life because I'm so versatile. I can do a lot of things. I'm laughing one time. I'm I'm serious, or so, uh, you know, I can be confident at the same time. You know, if the NBA didn't pay people and we had to get, you know, part-time jobs, I would play. I would still play. Oh, 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 oh. All right, turn basket, open up, cut right behind his head. Right. Basketball is everything to me. It's everything to me. And I can't even imagine the day I retire when I say, okay, I can't play no more basketball. It don't make no sense. It don't even make sense to me. I can't even think that way. Trying to go back to Vegas. Sure. Yeah, we're on the corner of Clinton. Who is this, Clinton? Clifton. Clifton and what? 
I can't run to hate, man. I've been trying, though. That's my big cousin, but he can't hang with his little cousin. <laughs> it's in my blood. It's nothing to a boss. It's the only dude I can hang with. The life, the life can't keep up. You got up that boss? Right on sound. Move 100 miles per hour. The life can't keep up. Took us forever. We take the streets to get it. Finally <laughs> <laughs> made it. We're here all in one piece. That's all that matters. Please get a suitcase. He's here for one day. Here for one day. <laughs> here for one day thinking he's going to be um, here about the money or something. That game took so much out of me. Yeah, it took so much out of me too. I haven't really achieved anything in this league. And, and uh, I really feel like this year coming up is going to be my breakout year to where I do I finally accomplish something. Nice. Look off the side like you just did when you looked over that way. I want to be the best. I want to, like when people say, name your top five players in the NBA, I want my name to be in there. Or who's the best point guard in the NBA? I want people to say my name first. And until that happens, I got to keep working. I got to keep working. And when it happens, I still got to keep working because I got to stay on top. And I won't stop until I'm on top. I'm hungry, man. But let me get a cheeseburger or something. She got me a granola bar. Not eating that Not eating that No. You know what? Y'all think y'all can keep up with me? You can't. 100 miles per hour, baby. 100 miles and running. In a minute, baby. So, Baron, what's up with the move to New Orleans? Coming up. Hey, look out. Oh. Oh, good job. Good job. Every time somebody catches the ball, I want to see them look at this. Look in the triple threat position. When you're in motion, never catch yourself standing still. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Oh. That was sweet. What do you think about the move from Charlotte to New Orleans? The move to Charlotte to New Orleans? New Orleans that's, that's a tough question. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I, uh, you know, it's a good move for the organization because, you know, Charlotte's a great city, but nobody came to watch us play. You have to be able to sell tickets and, and fill up seats. But I think that the, the city of New Orleans, I went down there uh, last week, they're, they're really prepared and really ready you know, to, to take on an NBA team, and I think they're gonna really support us. Charlotte's a distant memory. Barron and the Hornets are now New Orleans' team. BD has now signed a long-term contract extension to remain a Hornet, a deal that shows his commitment to leading this team and enjoying his new life down by the bayou. Okay, there we go. It's gonna be an exciting year for the for the Hornets, and you know it's new, it's energetic. You know, we're gonna sell out every night. Mardi Gras city, party city. People gonna be drunk in the stands. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be wild, and everybody on our team looking forward to it. So I'm just excited. A lot of people are excited. What's the NBA life like? The NBA life like? NBA life. NBA life is. It's not what you think. I'm telling it's, it's really not what you think. <laughs> First and foremost, it's a job, and it's, it's a really hard job to do. It involves a lot of traveling. You know, you have, you, have to be, you have to be really, really dedicated and really committed on playing in the NBA. You know, you really, ha you really have to have a tough mind. If you got traded to a team, what team would you want to be? If I got traded to a team, what team would I want to get traded to? <laughs> that comes with the business. People asking you where you want to play. Or we want you in LA. We want you in New York. We want you in New Orleans. All that is that comes with the business. You know, uh, nobody can honestly say that I've, they've quoted me saying anything. You know, I I know I'm under contract with the Hornets. And, you know, if I get traded, I get traded. That's just the business of the NBA. If I don't get traded and I'm still still there, then oh well, I'm still there. It's just the business of the NBA, and, and I try not to get caught up in it. Because if you do, then, you know, you find yourself always worrying about where you're going to be, and, and that's not what it's about. It's about 
getting on that court and going to battle, going to war. That's all it's about. And you live where you live in the off season. <laughs> Sizzle, you can draw that. Just give me that eclipse. Give me that uh, that that uh, clue CD. Uh, where my style is moving on up like George Boise. Know that BD is off the easy, and this is me, me bow down, keep it underground, keep toting. Oh, when people watch the life, there's two things they can say. Uh, this guy is really, really, really obnoxious, and ignorant, or whatever. And then people say, you know, it's a good kid. He just he loves his people, love being around his people, love kids, and just love having fun. And, you know, I'm 23 years old. I mean, you take it how you want to. I, I, I know my life. I know who I am. I don't even want a deal. All I want is a couple of meal. I can chill on the lake and a bottle of milk. And a bottle of, uh, yeah. yeah, it's all on the wrist. Wrist, let it flow through. Anybody need a surfer slash hooper slash all pro tight end? Next week on The Light, Kansas City Chief, Tony Gonzalez. The off-season is a time, the time that you get better. I ain't that a answer that. For more information, log on to ESPN.com, keyword, the life. Sophisticated people see me with my homies. It's like, wow, what the did he just do, man? Dude, you turned the light off. The life, 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 life.